Hail! Around here. Hail! This is Eldgrim. And we're here with the Medieval Shop Short Sword. And this, the whole thing about it is a classic short sword. Uh, like Elgrim says, it would very easily fit in with your 13th century collection. It really would. With uh, the pommel and the cross guard. But you've mentioned before, and I like I like this mention about this, is it, it, span, it could span a lot of time periods. This blade could, ex could have existed from 13th century all the way up through 15th. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, the thing is, it, they used them. What happened is early period, they had larger daggers like this and short swords. And then as they kind of went away from that, they came back to it because the armor got so good, you had to stab into niches and gaps. And that's you what's good to. about that's this. That's the only thing you could do. So this gives you more point control. Uh, it still has a powerful cut if you're against an opponent who's in gambesons, and we're going to test that out today, yeah. or lighter armors or less armor. Uh, so you could still cut it. But if you were against somebody in, in plate or almost totally encased in plate, you could still use this to go for the niches and kill them quite uh, easily if you had to. So it would be great backup. gives you more reach, and it gives you more power than, let's say, just a small dagger trying to well, uh, kill a man is, if he's not as armored. This is a, a hand-forged, full-tang blade from Medieval Shop, and it comes with the scabbard. Uh, how about long a pound, is this? About a, it's about a pound point six, I guess, a pound and a half, a little bit a pound and a half. And the whole blade, not counting the handle, is like uh, what 28 it, inches? It's or? uh, it's actually a uh, whole L long, it's tw it's a 24 inches long, 24, that's right, yeah, two feet long. So that makes it a short sword, right? Yeah, right. it is truly a short sword on the classical sense, even if you're into gaming and stuff like some people, yeah, that, the that, dragons, this, this would be something you'd picture with you'd almost see that in the adventure character. guide, right? Yeah, like, as a short sword, yeah. And uh, there are some slightly longer, but this one is right on the verge of being a dagger and a short sword, but it definitely takes this to the differs sword a lot side. from a lot of daggers from later century, like that 15th century Edinburgh dagger that was like what 1.2 or 1.3 pounds. This is a whole three tenths of a pound heavier. Oh, so I expect to see cut tremendously. I, I expect to see a huge difference it. from this, I really do. I, I don't expect it to do anything less than than top notch. Oh yeah, it's going to form. I can tell I, right. you. can tell when you grab it, you can feel it. But this is really a, a nice, hefty little blade. Uh, so yeah, it's I'm, got about a nine and a half centimeter grip, from what I can tell here. Yeah, uh, that's about about three inches or so. This is about four inches on the cross guard, probably about five something centimeters, five and a half centimeters. Something, something, like, yeah, something like that. I'm it, guessing we're we're not centimeter. We're, yeah, we're not we're not in it, we we don't do the uh, the blade is a little over about two two and a uh, quarter inch. Yeah, we, we don't we don't do the uh, metric thing. So no, 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 we, don't <laughs> we, do metric we do imperial. The fuller's but beautiful. We expect this to perform really well. We got some awesome tests set up for it. Uh, we got some great thrusting tests. Got a couple of cutting tests for it. Plus, we have our ballistics gel heads. So, what do you say, Grant? Let's move on and set some of this up and yeah, let's, let's see get what it going do. and see what we can do with this. I'm expecting a lot, really. All right, we're back with our normal gambeson test. This is 30 layers. We have uh, four layers of material, very much like a felt type padding. I mean, it gives it some bounce. And the rest is uh, uh, 26 layers of linen light, tightly woven material. Of course, we're not using expensive linen because we can't afford that, but we got the closest we can get. So, what the idea is here is to see how uh, deep we can penetrate. And I'm going to use it in a sword style grip and try thrusting with full force and see if I can make it through there. And we got clean through. And we got a leak out here at the bottom. Just like it was nothing. All right, now it's my turn to try out the medieval short sword and uh, try it against this gamble. So it's already leaking, so it makes it a little more difficult. So I'm gonna put a little more in it and uh, just see what I can do, putting everything I got into it, shoulder, body, and everything. And uh, hopefully I can pull it off, but I have a good feeling about this. We can say one thing, it slices. <laughs> Try it it's again. a little hard because it's a uh, it's not exactly Oh nice. That is a beautiful one, Grand. Check that. Oh out. yeah, clean through. Yeah, I don't think that gamut is posing any threat to it whatsoever. It's just going clean through. Well, even when you glance, the nick here was what really surprises me. I was a little off on that first thrust. But it sliced as it went in. Yeah, it did a beautiful yeah, job. Yeah, I see what it did. It cut and sliced out of it. Yeah, yeah, isn't that amazing? I mean, it's a beautiful oh, blade. Certainly. So, All right, that was very promising how easy it went through the 30 layers. So what I'm going to try to do here, we're using the drier section here because it did get wet at the bottom of the leaking. So dry section, same material. 
without any cuts. So we're gonna be hitting a, a fresh area. I'm gonna to try to use a tip cut, because we've discovered that walking up and trying to slice through this way doesn't do much. I swear it does not. You're not gonna draw a cut through it that easily, especially with this rig, it's gonna knock it off. I'm gonna try a tip shot, as much speed as I can put into it, and this is a short sword, so it has more weight. It's a pound and a half or more. I might be able to cut into it. Now, how deep, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna see if this tip will make it through. So let's go ahead and try this out. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, you got some depth, I saw that. Almost, almost. So close. Yeah, and then remember, the, anything that didn't work about it, this doesn't have the weight to be cast out, so. I'm having to try to cut with the tip and allow it to have force, so. Let's just give you an idea how many layers we cut through. Although it didn't make it to our bottle. Give you an idea how tough this material is. All right, with a medieval short sword and a sword of this length, because it is technically a sword, it's just long enough to be one, it's right on that verge. It could be used as a dagger if necessary. You could use it in a rondel grip or a roundel grip, however you want to pronounce it. I'm going to come down and see how good we can do on our famous phone book test. Oh! Let's see what we got here. I would say there's some penetration. I would definitely say there's some penetration. And what I'm going to do here is go ahead and take our uh, binding off quickly if I can. Because I want to see how far. It looked like a strong thrust. Oh, most certainly. It does taper bigger quicker. Much but more so than the end. Made it through, we've almost made it through all three. Almost? Yeah, we might try that again. All right, sure thing. I have a feeling you can do far better. Oh, yeah, but the thing is the width of this blade is a more damaging wound. I, I agree. Oof! Now, let's see what we got. At least through three. Not quite into the fourth. And I think our main problem is here. Instead of being a low profile dagger with a smaller edge, this is a broad edge. You gotta think of the size of this wound. This wound is devastating as the taper of the blade goes up. You're getting a lot bigger uh, wound channel and a lot more blood loss. So it going through three phone books and almost out the third is, I mean, to me, is just as impressive, if not more impressive, being a da uh, an actual sword size than the daggers in my mind. So far, this thing has performed very, very well. Uh, Thrand has made some amazing rondel grip thrusts on the phone books. But uh, we've just devised another test for this using the sword grip, where we're going to try this uh, this uh, sort of sword grip and, and try and thrust it through straight on and see what we can do and how many phone books we can get into. And hopefully uh, this will turn out really good. I mean, I'm, I'm eager to see how well this is going to work. It's the first time we've done it as well. Yeah, this is the first time. So this is going to be... This is going to be impressive, I think. Ah! Man! Two, not three. It is a weaker thrust, though. It is a weaker thrust. A lot thrust. of times it is a weaker thrust. But, that's but still, this got us two. It went two. clean through three, yeah. You actually well, two. have a point sticking out the back. I thought I saw it. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Yeah, I see the point right here. It's sticking so out. That's so pretty it good. made through two easily with that type of thing. Two easily? That's not bad. Well, certainly. You can try again if you like. Well, I guess I can just try... Uh, like one more time and see if I can step in. Maybe that'll work better. Ah! Got to catch the glasses. Yeah. Ooh, looks like it's going to do about the same thing. I'm thinking it's because of the position and the grip. It has strength, but it's not quite as strong. Yeah, as I even put my body behind it. I'm just it's not, not possible to get the exact same. Uh, yeah. Still. That's still very impressive going through, too. It's a very wide blade. Oh, the wound After channel is still... After seeing it go through the gamut is more than enough for me to know that that type of thrust has enough power to kill your... No phone. doubt about it. I like it. It's doing well. I mean, you can't expect to do four phone books. No, you not did, like you'd that. Be kind not, of crazy. not with that type of thrust, no. No. So that's that's really good. Two is great. Well, sir. All right, with a dagger like this, you want to cut with some of the fleshier meteor up near the straw. I let it follow through as you push, kind of in a, in a draw, but in a... Uh, Motion where the whole body is put into it and you kind of use your arm to, to add, in part, I guess, mass. So you're not going to be cutting a long ways away for a really strong cut. You're going to be cutting in. This is also good because you can come back with thrusting when you cut in this manner. So, I mean, it kind of works with this type of blade. Let's go ahead and see what I can do here. Oh. Nice! 
for such Very a light nice. blade, I'm still impressed. A little tearing. For such, for such a light blade, we actually made it clean through. Well, I consider the tearing something to be expected with a light blade. That's well, a two-inch. Yeah, that's a two-inch roll. I don't. I don't expect anything less from a light blade. A, a pound and a half blade. I think it did exceptional. Yeah, pound point six or so. So yes, it can cut. I have Straight to the bone. Cutting test as well. Straight to the bone. Is yeah, that most were an arm cut. Yeah. Oh yeah, most certainly. I mean, yeah, we're here with an extra tough ballistics gel head made out of super tough ballistics gel. We've got our artery, our uh, our jaw. We've got everything in this model. Now we're going to do the same thing we did with the uh, Edinburgh Castle dagger. We made history on our channel by actually stabbing through the skull. It's the first time we'd actually done that with something. So I'm curious if this blade can do the same thing. Uh, it's a much larger blade, much heavier blade, longer. It's actually a sword, not a dagger, but it can be used like a rondo or a rondo. Okay. Stab that in and see what happens. Oh! Whoa! I hit a hair high, but we cleave directly into the back of the skull. And we have blood leaking out. That was gruesome. I'll right, go ahead and try that again. Ah! Nice. This design definitely works way better. Okay, it appears the blade went all the way to the other side of the skull. You see how wide we have here? Let's see if I can retrieve it or get it out, which is going to be very difficult because it opens a wound and just kind of slides in. And as you see, the blood is just gushing out. Went clean through. Yeah, I'll come in with a cut to the side of the skull and see what happens. Oh! Point cleft right into the top. Not bad. It's a little higher up than I expected. straight down and through the jaw. That is nasty. Yeah, we went straight down and through the jaw. Kind of is kind of rode the skull into the jaw and cleft right in. Beautiful cut. Flying the face right open. No damage to the blade. Okay, I don't think this will do a lot, but we're going to try a thrust directly into the eye. Just thrust into the guy and see what happens. Ah! I aimed a wee bit low there, but it looks like we actually pierced into the bottom of our skull, possibly. Or just rode it nicely. Still, in any event, that is nasty. It chipped the jaw in the process, and this whole cheek is now flayed open. We hit the jaw, cutting through the jaw. Nasty. And it rode right into the skull into the side of the head. Looks like it got shot by a bullet. Yeah, it most certainly does. We've already seen that Thran can do a lot of damage with this blade, uh, just with the thrusts and uh, the the uh, crossover cuts. But we're just gonna. I'm gonna come in now and just try a, just from right to left and see if I can get a, a really good cut. And I'm going to have to use this a lot like maybe uh, like a Nile 2, uh, like a Bronze Age sword, but not because of the materials. This is high grade steel. The shape. But it's because of the shape and the weight, so it's going to take more of a, a hammer fisted approach. So let's, uh, let's see how we can do uh, hitting it in the skull with that kind of a hammer grip. I kind of got a little of that action there with the finger over it to help. Oh, I shattered the, the jaw. We lost shattered the, the jaw. Now. Wow. Shattered the jaw. Wow. Uh, it's not even the, it's not just the cutting, it's, it broke it. Yeah, it, broke it cut the jaw. all the way to the bone. Okay, I'm going to try again and see if I can get a little better. We reached the skull in that last overhead cut, but... We actually got into the skull just a bit. We nicked it, but we really want to get something spectacular. So let's try again. Oh, I saw 
blood fly. Yeah, that one was a was a far better uh, cut. I got to the skull. Oh, I got in. Well, yeah, you got in on the other one. I felt it. Yeah, I'm in on this one. Yeah, it's definitely. going into the skull. It's just not going very deep. This skull. Well, here, Grim. So yeah, I can... you can spread that open. I can spread it open. I'll. Uh... No, you're in the skull. Look, you made it all the way in. Check this out. You're all the way in. Skull. This one is all the way in. That's why we've got our blood coming out. That is great. Yeah, you went all the way into the skull. So yes, that could kill a man up close with that kind of force. Kind of hammering it in there. That's why you're and remember to that, that we have too much flesh covering our skull. This is a that's thicker than your skin would be. So we went oh, through yeah, quite yeah, a yeah. bit. And then with the give this thing's got, if you're watching, he's giving way more than maybe even a person if you didn't expect the hit. Because it's it's kind of set up where it has less give one way and a little more that way. It's just the way it's set up. Sometimes that happens. All right, I'm extremely impressed with this. We've been doing great with it all along. I want to see what happens to this portion of the blade. When we still have our really tough artery, I haven't had a chance to replace it. We've got extra tough ballistic shell. But this has a lot of extra weight to it, the sword, being uh, 1.6 pounds and actually being more of a sword than a dagger. What I'm going to try to do is do a cut where I reach out and try to just slice through the throat in those two arteries, leaving the man bleeding to death. Oh, uh, yeah, we went all the way to the bone and broke it. A little bit tighter than I thought, tougher than I thought. Oh, gosh. He's bleeding out, and we went all oh, you cut the Oh, you cut that, that vein real easy. I cut the vein easy, and I went through the spine. When you get a full decap, but we actually shattered the spine is what happened, which allowed it to just fall over. Yes, but the great thing is you can see that nice clean cut on that overly thick vein that, that oh, we have Oh, yeah, and replaced. that extra thick ballistic shell. I'm, mm -hmm. I did not expect to mm -hmm. go so deep. I meant to miss the actual spine, but I stepped in too far. You know what? This and this is ballistic shell we like to use on axes. With that tip cut. I should have expected it after seeing it cut in the game. Yes, but this is ballistic shell that we like to use on axes because it's a little heavier. So we're oh, actually yeah. using Our, an ballistics, axe ballistics, we're going to shooting so your head doesn't fall apart instantly if you put a hole through it. Right, but we're using something higher grade for some of our tougher... Oh, your skull fell out when it fell over because it was so damaged. So, so beat up. From both sides being cut into and hacked into. It looks like it's been on a Jet.com commercial. Uh, the greatest yeah. thing since shopping. <laughs> oh! oh! Cut through the spine again and uh, chopped right into it. This head is gone. Oh, crazy. damn. Yeah, that's how much damage we had done to it earlier. It's just taking time to fall apart. So, I'm sorry, but this is an awesome dagger. That's all right. Or a uh, short sword, excuse me. <laughs> I am extremely impressed. We chopped into the spine again up higher, if you can see it was a cut I made because I came in from behind. So yes, and you can see this artery is tough to cut because we didn't even make it totally through that time as it fell off, as it lost its uh, pedestal from the cut. Artery. I'm just so impressed with this. I, I, I can't say enough good about oh, that. Oh, your little... cut went clean into the skull. You didn't even realize it, but you'd actually pierce the skull into the brain and not realize it. Even though the thrust went through really easily as well, that was nasty. And it's only a short sword. It's a short sword, yes. But I mean, just the tip, I did not expect just the tip. I thought all I'd do if it hit the spine is bounce Well, with off. everything it's done today. But uh, it, it cut through the artery and shattered the spine. Well, well we should have expected that with, with what it did to the gambus. And as yeah, deep as you got, that was insane. Right, just a tip shot. Just a tip shot. And, and that's, and that's the only thing a, that cuts to the gambus and easy. And no, that's that. on a blade that weighs less than two pounds. Yeah, that's a, that's oh. a decent blade. I would I would have that in my arsenal anytime. In fact, I've added it to my collection for my uh, 13th century set. Oh, yeah, it would work anywhere from 13th century up to 15th, 16th century easily. I agree with you. And I've had fun today. This is like the most fun I've had in a while, chopping stuff up, and it's just with that little old short sword. And I, I mean, I'm oh, impressed yeah. with it's, it. It's beautiful. I love it. I've had a good time with it, and we're going to have to go clean it up because we've got it covered in gunk and chopping our head up. Yeah. But yeah, we had a good time doing it. We kind of took our time at it, and we had piercings through the skull. We had cuts into the skull every time. Absolutely awesome. Uh, cut through the artery easily. This stuff is the thickest tubing you'll ever see. Well, and it's also some of the water. toughest gel we, we, we made. Oh, yeah. This is, is oh, our... this is at least 20%. It's over 20% gel. We normally don't even use it that tough. We, we yeah. went up and gauge because it makes the head hold together right. better for cutting. But, but, yeah. You know, if you want to see some more of this testing uh, on Thane Thran with us, uh, be sure to subscribe down below. Comment down below. Uh, I, I believe uh, Medieval Shop, do, do they have that deal still going on, Thrand? Oh, yeah, they do. Two, buy two blades, 
And if you send them a message that you watch the Thane Thran channel or mention Thran and say that you want a certain blade after you buy two, a blade of equal or lesser value than those two you will get for free included. Do not order it. Just go ahead and, uh, and send him a message and tell him which one. If he has it in stock, it'll be included with your shipment. And uh, the shipping and handling of your new yes, shouldn't be over like fifty dollars. What he said, U.S. I think so. I yeah. think so. And uh, I think it's free him. shipping to Australia, uh, uh, New Zealand, and Japan. Right. And so that's that's right. So be sure to jump on that deal before he takes that down and uh, get that while you can. Yeah, uh, this would be a nice thing to add to it. And I'm sorry, right. I know we got it covered in dirt. Hey, we've got people beautiful, we got people sharing swords. photographs of the swords they've gotten uh, on our boat crew. So definitely uh, join our closed group. That's the Thane Thrand YouTube boat crew on Facebook. Yep. Um, also, you can like our like page over at Facebook. That's Thran Elgrimer's Well of Remembrance. And you can always help improve our content. Your donations go into making uh, ballistics gel and uh, other mediums that we test on. So definitely donate to us. That's www.patreon.com slash Thran. Or you can do it through our PayPal account. That's uh, thanethran at yahoo.com. And you can send That's a message PayPal to ID. us. Yeah. And you can tell us what you want us to do with the funds or items that you send us. Any items you send. Uh, yeah. If you make them yourself or even if you're another vendor. Be sure to send things our way, and we'll make sure it gets on camera, and, and we'll uh, definitely... We'll certainly test them out, just like we did here. We always test stuff out, and we test it to the fullest, and really right. can. Especially right. we try to test it for what it was used for or what it could have been used for. That's true. Well, thanks very much for watching, and uh, farewell. Farewell.